What I've got in my hand here is a load of samples. Ordered a load of samples the last couple of months. And from that I found three which are absolutely stunning. And today I want to quickly run you through them without going through a huge note breakdown and everything like that. I just want to tell you what they smell like and just give you a very quick overview. Let's go. First fragrance I want to talk to you about is Iris Malacan by Maison Crivelli. This fragrance to me is super, super cozy and comforting. Um, it is a stunning iris fragrance with some vanilla and I get some hints of leather in there as well. Um, it, to me, I just want to wear this regardless of what the occasion is and regardless of what the weather is. I wear this fragrance for me because it makes me feel so good. It just makes me feel protected. It makes me feel at ease and at home wherever I am. Uh, it's a really strange one that I do just tend to want to use this it, and it doesn't really matter if it's hot outside, if it's cold outside. You'd probably say this is more suited to cold weather, but I've worn it when it's been fairly warm outside and I haven't really cared. It's just a fragrance that I absolutely love smelling and I want to wear it for me. So that's what I've been doing. Um, it's a super long lasting fragrance. Um, it's certainly unisex, but it's just a lovely comforting fragrance that I need to purchase a full bottle of. It retails for 170 British pounds when I last checked. Um, and the House of Mason Crivelli have got some really good offerings. Um, but Iris Malacan is the one that stood out for me. Just to give you an example, the Iris in this, a lot of people are aware of the Dior Homme range. I too am a big fan. I put this on this wrist. I put Dior Homme Intense on this wrist. I will say it's a 2020 batch of the arm Intense. But as I was going throughout the day or throughout the hours, Iris Malacan was a absolute hands down winner for me. It outperformed the arm Intense. Um, and the smell of it, the softness with the nice sweetness to it, just made me realize that this is absolutely stunning and most probably the best Iris that I've ever smelled in a fragrance. Number two, we have got Ensemble Suave by the house of Matière Premier. Now Matière Premier meaning raw materials and in their fragrances, the quality is absolutely top notch. And it's no different in Ensemble Suave. I sample Ensemble Suave and also Falcon Leather. Falcon Leather being a really pure, pure leather, which is extremely realistic. But for me, Ensemble Suave was the one that came out on top for me. Now what this is, is a incense based fragrance with some sweetness from vanilla. The incense is very much a church like incense, which I grew up going to church every weekend and I didn't think it was gonna be for me. And even when I started smelling this stuff, I wasn't sure about it. I wasn't sure about that smoky incense. But when I put this on skin, wow, it is amazing. I've worn this a few times now, and every time it's just so much better on skin than from on a strip or smelling it from here or from a bottle, I imagine. It is so, so nice. It's quite a mysterious fragrance in my eyes, and it is just so, so good. Definitely for the colder months, um, very long lasting, and again, a unisex fragrance this would be. Uh, I could definitely see women wearing this and smelling really, really nice. But yeah, Ensemble Suave by Matière Premier. This retails at about 195, 200 British pounds last time I checked. And it's again a fragrance that I want to get a full bottle of. Uh, the Matière Premier range do 100 ml bottles, or they do a nice little discovery set where you can actually get all the fragrances in six ml bottles, but they're actually in small little bottles, similar to the, the large 100 ml. Um, but fantastic house. Uh, need to try a few more of their offerings, but today Ensemble Suave is my second pick and one that I need to get a full bottle of. And number three, we have got Bohemian Lime by Goldfield and Banks. The Australian niche fragrance house, which offers some really nice uh, citrus summery fragrances. Um, they've got quite a few which I've smelled, which I've found were a bit feminine leaning, but Bohemian Lime is the one for me that comes out on top. This and Wood Infusion, which is a lovely woody fragrance from them, uh, but Bohemian Line for me has come out on top because 
a lot of the citrusy fragrances I'm not that fond of, honestly speaking, and I struggle in the summer months because I like stuff that's a little bit deeper and darker. But Bohemian Lime is lovely because what you've got is you've got some lovely finger lime, but it's also got some earthiness. It's got vetiver, which gives it that earthiness, um, but it's also got some kind of woody touches to it as well. So you've got this kind of nice sparkly citrus, which has got some rugged earthiness to it, um, but also some lovely woody touches in there as well. So overall for me, it works really nicely, but a lovely, lovely scent that's gonna work well in the summer. I haven't really had a chance to wear it when the sun's been kind of out and hot, but this thing is so fresh and sparkly that I think it's gonna work superbly. Um, in terms of pricing on this thing, I'm not sure in the UK, but I know over here in Australia it's 235 uh, Australian dollars for 100 mil. The other ones are up in the 300, 350 Australian dollar range. So Goldfield and Banks are superb value. They do 100 mil bottles and they do some of their fragrances at 50 mil. I believe this is a 50 mil as well, you can purchase this. Uh, but nonetheless, a stunning fragrance, which I will be getting a 100 mil um, bottle of. I don't know in terms of how long it's gonna last. I've worn it a few times when it's been a bit colder and the performance has actually been pretty good on this for something that's a bit more of a summery citrusy fragrance. Um, but, but because it's got some of the woodiness in there, um, I think this is gonna hold up pretty nicely. Um, definitely unisex as well just a really great offering from Goldfield and Banks. So the third one, and one which I need to get a full bottle of, is Bohemian Lime, Goldfield and Banks. Guys, that was just a quick roundup of three that I've sampled over the last couple of months that I really enjoy. Um, I've got plenty more videos coming up. I've got some first impression videos. I've got some discovery set videos coming up. Um, so lots of stuff coming. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you wanna see more content. And uh, leave some comments below. Let me know if you smell any of these fragrances today or any other ones from these houses, and I'll be back real soon with another video. Take care, speak soon, bye.